little push, rip, peel, crash. Hey everyone, welcome back to day five of the camper van conversion. Slide these out of the way. These are the cedar planks for the ceiling. I decided to hold off on putting those up because I am going to put in a, a ventilation system, probably like a max air fan. If you're going to be sleeping in a van, which I probably will be more this summer, you know, a lot of moisture and condensation can build up if you don't have the proper ventilation. So, don't want to rush it, want to do it right. And yeah, that's coming up. But for today, what I can focus on is some other things. I'm going to focus on the floor, okay? Got these vinyl planks here, barnwood style, which I really like. Maybe we could put them on the barn doors. No, that won't work. But they're pretty simple and they're nice and flat, which I like because I'm trying to really watch how much space I'm taking up here in this little van ceiling and floor before i lay this down i just want to give this one last sweep out and maybe get a little bit of dust and debris so let's do that and then we'll start laying down the planks So the first plank, you want to make sure you line up really straight. Everything's going to feed off of that. It's a little bit. E it would be a little bit easier if I didn't have these rounded edges. So I'm going to do my best, and here goes nothing. Okay, so I'm going to use the wheel well as the starting point, the edge of the wheel well. I'll have to fill in these other spots uh, somehow, but we'll use this as the starting point. Fine. First one. Line it up. I like that. Get a good bond. And we're on our way. Okay, so we already got our first cut. As you can see, we gotta trim some off here, so do a little measuring. We got 21 and a half. Mark it off. And then grab your blade. From what I researched, this doesn't really take much pressure to cut these in half. Like that. All I gotta do, I think, is just give it a little. Oh, there she goes. Okay. Press it right up to the previous one, nice and tight. This first line, you want to make sure you get nice and straight. Get a good bond. Yeah. All right, we're down here, ready to start the second row. We got our plank. Now you're gonna have to make a cut. The reason why I say that is if I was just to lay that down again and do it all the way, you'd have the same lines. It just wouldn't look aesthetically pleasing, if you know what I mean. So we just want to measure say wherever you want make a cut lay it down and then you can start laying down your full planks again we'll push rip peel make sure you press it right up to the first row you put down nice and tight all right and that's pretty much the process Let's keep it moving here.
All right, so got the majority of it done here. You can, oh, big shadow. Let's go around the side here. You can see a little better. I'm not in the way, but got the majority of it done. Pretty happy with this barnwood looking floor. Very thin. And yeah, I got to finish up some trim work on the sides. Shouldn't be too hard. Wow. All right, I was able to clean up the edging as best as I could. Not perfect, but perfect for me. Around the wheel wells, a little bit of a challenge around the gas tank, but we got it done. Let's check it around from the back. Yeah. And I was able to work underneath here. This piece actually lifts out the way I designed it. So I could, you know, keep the jack just in case for emergencies. I plan on putting some finishing trim on here. Um, not sure exactly, but when I get towards the very end, I'll know what. And around the side at the entry as well. Something over this. So it didn't take too long, pretty quick. You'll notice this plywood here. We're gonna be using this for our next project on the good old barn doors. I ordered some new speakers back here, or four back here. These are pretty, they're not working too well. So uh, we're gonna take these out, put some new speakers in, also with some uh, some plywood, some finishing. And we'll probably stuff this first with all our, our leftover wool. All right, everyone, that wraps it up for the floor for now until we push put the finishing trim on. I'm gonna pack up the plywood and the leftover planks and focus on the next project, the barn doors. Still waiting on those speakers. And there is a troll around here we might try to go find. Mm. His name's Isaac. Mm. Oh. 